Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the shell scripting course or series and in this video we're going to be looking at user input and comments, alright? So comments is something that's really really simple to understand and I thought why not cover it with user input. Alright, so uh, before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that before uh, I, you know, go into showing you guys any scripts, as many of you were requesting for, you guys need to understand shell scripting first. And I can do that before I touch on functions. Now, again, I am going to be showing you different scripts that are in line with, uh, you know, penetration testing or ethical hacking. But we'll get to that slowly as we move along. For now, let's just try and get to know the essentials. Now, when we talk about user input, uh, it's something that's really, really simple. And, and as I said, uh, with shell scripting, it becomes really intuitive as you move along so that everything kind of makes sense. And you'll find yourself really not struggling with the syntax once you once you know, uh, or once you get used to it. All right. So the the syntax for uh, for essentially accepting user input when we're talking about simply just reading in data in the form of keyboard input or uh, um, input from a variable. Now, of course, um, we're going to be touching upon standard input, which is something that most of you are accustomed to if you've been doing C or C++ and you uh, and you understand the different types of input and uh, how they're standardized. But for this case, let's focus on read. All right. So the syntax is quite simple. Now, let me just uh, come over here in my sublime text and I type in read. All right. So that is the syntax. Now, what comes after read is really, really important because as I said you can prompt uh, you can prompt user input uh, from the keyboard or through a variable, but you need to specify a variable to the read. Now, let me uh, let me just make this really, really simple. So I'm going to just create a simple script that will uh, that will ask you for uh, maybe your your name or your favorite spot some, or something like that. And then it's going to print it out. All right. Quite simple. So to do that, I'm going to say read and then I'm going to also bring up a prompt. All right. So a prompt here will essentially prompt data to the user or information that you want the user to know before they enter in their data. So I can say prompt that is denoted by a P, a, uh, a dash P, as you can see, uh, all in lowercase. And then after this is where I put in my prompt. So I can say, um, enter your, um, enter your, uh, let's see, enter your name or something like that, something really simple. And then after the prompt, or oh, you can give that a space, that's good practice. So after this, after the uh, after the space and after the prompt, this is when you enter the variable in which you want to store this data in. Remember, I told you you can store data in variables, as you probably already know. And now we have to declare our variable. So I'm just going to call this variable name. All right. And that's simply the syntax. So let me just explain this before we move any further. So to read input from a keyboard or a variable, we can say read. All right. And then we select the prompt here. The prompt can be used or not used. And I'll, I'll show you how to do how to go about uh, how to go about using both. All right. So the prompt here and then you have the prompt itself, uh, which is essentially asking the user to enter their name. And then this data is going to be stored in the variable name. So then we can call from this variable and say echo. And uh, remember, we use the dollar sign and the variable to call it out. But we can say something like uh something like your name is and uh, we just close that up and that's going to print it out in a sentence. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this script and uh, let me just go into my terminal. I've already executed the uh, permissions. I've already given it permissions. So all I have to do is uh, I can just let me list the files in here. All right. So it's input. So input dot sh and I'm going to hit enter and you see it's going to prompt you to enter your name so I'm going to enter my name as Alexis and I'm going to hit enter and there you are it's going to say your name is Alexis fantastic really nothing special about that script it's uh, pretty pretty basic it's simply taking in data uh, that you've entered and it's outputting the data now there is something really really awesome that you can do with variables and especially uh, user input when you talk about shell scripting and that is simply uh, storing as many variables as you like in the types of data that you're going to be entering. Let me give you a simple example. Let's say I wanted to enter my full name. Well, I could use one variable or let's say I wanted to store additional information. So um, let's say uh, and actually we can start using our comments. So to 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 enter a comment in uh, in shell scripting, you simply use the uh, the bang sign or the hash, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to call this uh, user. Oops, sorry 
user input and um, there you are all right so that's simply a comment really nothing complicated about that so now let's say we wanted now the user to enter their full name well how would we go about doing this and this will explain a lot of what i've been talking about all right so we are now going to be saying uh let's let's give the user a prompt but in a different way so we're going to say please enter your full name and remember we want to store each name in its own type uh, in its own variable so that we can manipulate the data when we talk about printing it or saving it in a database okay so echo please enter your full name now we can uh, essentially we're essentially asking the user to enter their full name so let's make this a bit more presentable and now we need to use the read command uh, to accept the data that is being inputted but we need to store it in different variables now the variable that i'm going to be using is first name and last name and again feel free to customize the variable names to whatever you feel is appropriate okay so there we are read first name and last name now we can essentially just print out the data so you can say your name is and simply just use the variables but now we separate them so first name and last name pretty cool right now you you'll see how awesome this is and how versatile uh, the uh, the shell scripting can be so let me just show you that right now so if i go back into my terminal and i launch that script again see it's going to ask me to enter my full name so i can type in for example um let's see let's get a, a good name here um we can just say john and uh, john doe some something something really really simple and we hit enter and there you are it's going to print out the data like that now the thing about uh splitting up the data inputted into different variables is it gives you versatility in the in the sense that you can control the data that was uh, inputted to you now for example if you wanted the user to input their name and their age it can also do that as well and you can simply just customize it to what you want please enter your your, your name uh, we can just say your name and your age and your age right and we can change this variable name to age and that will print it out and then we can simply just remove that and put our age in here and you can say your name is and you are um we can say eight years old all right so something really really simple like that and you get how this can be manipulated to fit or to suit your needs and, and of course when you're storing this data remember presentation in in terms of how you store the data is extremely important as well so input.s8 please enter your name i can say alexis and i can type in an age of uh, 45 for example and there you are uh, you, now from here you can see what separates shell scripting from other scripting or programming languages in its in the way it is versatile in accepting data printing out data and also storing data we'll be looking at functions for loops all that good stuff and how to manipulate data and of course as i mentioned we'll be taking a look in between as we move along at different cool scripts that you can create in relation to ethical hacking and penetration testing all right, so that is going to be it for this video, guys. In this video, we talked about uh, accepting user input and comments. Something really, really simple. But now that you know how to do it, uh, you know, you, you simply now are, are a step ahead. And uh, we're going to be taking a look now at functions and then conditional statements, etc. All right, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, if you like this video, found value in it, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section on my social networks or on my website. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.